uh, droned on former President Bill Clinton. Anyway, here with reaction, uh, our friend, Louisiana Senator John Kennedy. Uh, Senator, we wish you were here in Chicago with us, but I'm sure you're happy wherever you are. I don't know if you're in Washington or Louisiana. Let's get your thoughts overall on the convention. Well, I listened to President Clinton's speech. Um, my, my mother did not raise a fool, and if she did, Sean, it was one of my brothers. <laughs> uh, the speech to me was basically a baloney blizzard. He, uh, he talked about growth from the bottom up and the middle out. The only thing I see growing from the bottom up and the middle out under, uh, under Harris Biden is, uh, is uh, prices, our prices, a uh, crime, and illegal immigration. Uh, Pre President Clinton was right about one thing. He said, uh, we've got a decision to make. And it's either, it's either Trump or Harris. There is no door number three. For me, that is a choice between hope and more hurt. I remember what inflation and crime and the border and national security was like under President Trump. And I know what it's like under, uh, un under Ms. Harris and Mr. Biden. Um, that dollar in your pocket is worth 80 cents today, thanks to the uh, Harris-Biden team. I, uh, I, I don't know about you, but I could go for a mean tweet and two dollar gas right about now. Um, <laughs> probably not, not emphasized enough is the vice president's uh, very poor record on uh, national security. Every, every uh, budget that she and, uh, and President Biden have submitted to Congress. Every single one cuts defense. Uh, if you care about national security and national defense, you can't support uh, the vice president. And, you know, to put it as one of my, uh, one of my constituents put it, I'm, I'm not going to vote for someone who would leave my ass in Afghanistan. And that's exactly what the vice president and the president of the United States did. I know the vice president well. I don't hate anybody, but I know her well. I served in the Senate with her. She's AOC without the bartending experience. She is a San Francisco Democrat. And that's just the bottom line. And that's really what the election is going to be about. And I think the country now is, is going to have to go through a period of really understanding who she is, the things, the position she's taken, the statements that she's made. And uh, there's never been anybody that has this plethora of, of radical views that are out there in the open. The media is not showing it, will continue to show it. And I, I do believe at some point it will, it will get into the, the American culture and the bloodstream and the consciousness of the American people. And I think at that point, it's a very different race. Would you agree with that, Senator? Yes, and if you look at the vice president's record, uh, she helped cause the worst inflation that America's had in 40 years. Uh, her plan for price controls will make it worse. Her plan to raise the corporate income tax will cut wages for all of us at a time when people desperately need them. Uh, she has compared our Border Patrol agents to members of the Ku Klux Klan. She wants to get rid of private health insurance. Uh, her running mate wants to put um, uh, tampons in every boy's bathroom throughout America. And, and again, her record on defense she, she thinks we can solve all of our problems with China and Putin and, and the Ayatollah in Iran, in Iran with hugs and hot cocoa. Um, <laughs> President, Senator, President, I... Biden, uh, President, uh, President Clinton sees that. Yeah. Uh, President Clinton, look, he's a politician like me. Bill Clinton would support a dead buzzard over a Republican, any Republican, if well. the buzzard had a D behind his name. Senator Kennedy, you're a national treasure. We always love having you on. Uh, you're a wordsmith, and we appreciate you being with us. Thank you, Senator.